AJ Dillon, number 69. Uh, I play defensive line, and my fun fact is that I'm bringing back the mutton chops. What does it mean to you to be an Avon Eagle? Being an Avon Eagle is a privilege, and I think that it's a way different culture and community than most programs around us, and it's just something really special that we have going on here. What makes it so special and so different? The community, the parents, the players, and the coaches, it all makes it really special. All the things that you guys go through, the dirty dozens, the two a day, the getting up at 5 a.m. to lift, how would you describe that to an outsider, what you experience? Uh, well, it's definitely tough, it's definitely a grind, but I mean, being with my friends and my brothers make it all worth it. How has it changed you as a person? Oh, man. If you asked me in middle school to get up at 5 a.m. to go work out every morning, I wouldn't have done it. But now that I'm older and I've had to do it for a couple years now, it's gotten easier getting up in the morning and getting, getting the grind going. Is it almost something you look forward to now? Yeah. I love getting up, working out with my friends. It's great. How excited are you for your senior year? Super excited. Uh, I'm ready to get back out there, hopefully get past the Final Four this year and uh, win a state title. Is that the way you want it to end? Hopefully. What's it going to take? Everybody. It's going to take everybody. It's going to take 110% from everyone. Always smiling, always has high energy, and is always a person that is willing to do anything for his teammates. I think AJ is a kid that is, has always been um, there for people. I think he's always been a guy who is trying to make his teammates better. I think he's always a guy that looks at himself as an Avon football player. And one of the things, that most impressive things that he's done throughout this year for me, and I know for his other guys, has been really selfless. He's just been a guy who's fell, fell into that two role, who's been, you know, watching a lot of guys play when, you know, a lot of times, a lot of our players are players that would play for a lot of other teams. And he's really good, has been, you know, phenomenal as accepting that role and helping out his teammates and, you know, doing things for the team all while staying engaged as a defensive player. So I know, I know he's, he's ready to go when his name is going to be called upon because I, I truly do believe his name is going to be called upon when we make this playoff run. So, you know, I've been super happy with what he has done. How much of it is that a testament of a great attitude for a player and teammate to have? You know, it's, it's priceless, really. It really is. When you talk about kids and their, their willingness to, you know, sacrifice and have an attitude of, hey, listen, I'm going to go out there even if I'm not the star of the show. And to me, that just shows how selfless he is and how much he cares about other people. And in all, in all reality, that's what's made our program really good. His reason and why to join football, I don't know what it is, but I'm glad he did. I've watched him grow as a person over the last three years, um, just with regards to self-confidence, how he walks, how he carries himself, how he conducts himself in conversations has changed immensely. I think this game has really helped him grow. And again, he's just like most of our players where he has helped this team because he's such a quality young man and a quality kid and becomes a great representation of Avon Eagles. If you were flavor ice cream, what would you be? Oh, if I was a flavor of ice cream. Superman. Why? Because I look like him. <laughs> okay. Wait, do the pose again. All right, there we go. If you were pizza, what toppings would you have? Pepperoni, ham, and sausage. All the protein. Okay. They made a movie about your life. Who would star as you? Oh, man. Ryan Reynolds. I think. Is it going to be a comedy then? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Big time. Big time comedy. Recently, the Mega Millions hit a billion dollars. Yep. If you bought a ticket and won, what would be the first thing you'd buy and maybe the first ten things you'd buy? No, you still have that. Oh. I give the money to my mom and let her decide like, what I get because I'm not very good with money. So I would just blow it all on dumb stuff. So I'd, I'd give it to her and she could do it, whatever she would want with it. New house, maybe a new car for myself, but that's nothing crazy. Give it to her.